mehr als 30 Millionen Menschen sind bereits an HEV AIDS gestorben und beinahe 35 Millionen Menschen leben mit dieser Erkrankung. Dies sind traurige Zahlen. Am Welt-Aids-Tag erinnern wir uns an die Menschen hinter dies, diese Zahlen. Es gibt aber dennoch ermutigende Nachrichten. Neue wissenschaftliche Entwicklungen verändern die Zukunftserwartungen der Betroffenen schnell. Eine Studie hat gezeigt, dass eine antiretrovirale Behandlung die Wahrscheinlichkeit einer Übertragung von HEV auf einen nicht infizierten Partner um 96 Prozent senkt. Das ist erstaunlich. Das ist nur ein Beispiel für die außerordentlichen Fortschritte, die in den vergangenen 30 Jahren gemacht werden. Science has given us the tools we need to make an AIDS-free generation possible. Working together, we can turn the tide of HIV. That's the message we, we need to remember, not only today on World AIDS Day, but every day. But in order to accomplish this goal, we need to focus on using our resources as effectively and efficiently as possible. That is the best way to save more lives. Here's another example of how that's happening right now. The United States has joined with UN AIDS and other partners to eliminate transmission of HIV from mothers to children by 2015. This goal is achievable. As a result of programs supported through the US President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, or PEPFAR for short, 114,000 babies of infected mothers were born free of HIV in 2010 alone. But we also want to keep the mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters of those babies alive. More than 6 million people living with HIV in low- and middle-income countries are on antiretroviral treatment. Over 3 million of these individuals are supported through the U.S. PEPFAR program. Many more are supported through the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis, and Malaria, to which the United States and Germany are two of the biggest contributors. Contributions to the Global Fund address public health challenges in an integrated and comprehensive way. They are what Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton would describe as smart investments because they multiply the impact of national HIV AIDS initiatives. By expanding the reach of health investments and attracting investments from a range of donors, responses to HIV AIDS and other diseases are being developed and implemented in the countries where they count the most. The United States is committed to making the Global Fund as effective as possible to sustain these achievements. One thing is clear. To change the face of AIDS, all nations must participate. This disease cannot be overcome by one or two or three nations alone. The Global Fund, as its name says, is a global vehicle for all nations, as well as the private sectors of various countries, to put their investments to work wisely. Ich glaube, der Welt-Aids-Tag 2011 fällt in eine Zeit der Hoffnung im Kampf gegen diese Krankheit. Wir haben bereits gute Fortschritte gemacht, aber es bleibt noch viel zu tun. Mithilfe der Wissenschaft und im Geiste gemeinsamer Verantwortung können und werden wir das Ziel einer AIDS-freien Generation erreichen, oder, wie UN-Generalsekretär Ban Ki-moon sagte, das Ziel von null neue Infektionen, null AIDS-bedingten Todesfällen und auch null Diskriminierung bis 2020 
und keinesfalls später. Vielen Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit.